there's been so many aha moments because not only have I spent the last 24 years even more intensely studying, but at the same time, science has grown by leaps and bounds with all the new information that they're able to access and things they've figured out that they didn't know back then. So there are a lot of things that have been connected. And yes, I was aware of the mind-body connection, but I think there was something that until that aha moment, I hadn't connected. And that was how badly I wanted out of my job. I had a job that paid me very well, so I had no financial pressure. But I was no longer happy there. There were some things going on that were stressing me out. And yet when I told people that I wanted to leave, they were like, you can't. Women do not get promoted to this job and you can't walk away from it or God knows when they will ever have another woman in this position. So I felt that obligation. And so I think subconsciously that played into the diagnosis for me is that there was something that I wanted out of that I didn't feel empowered to just stand up and do on my own. So I found a workaround. And no, it, it's not the most easiest, healthiest workaround for, for a person to choose. And so we don't choose these kind of things consciously, but we do choose them subconsciously. And so that was one thing for me when I realized that. And the way I realized it was when the very next morning I said, you know what, I'm quitting my job. This, this is my life on the line. And I think that qualifies as important enough that I'm just going, eh, done. And so when I went in and I said, sorry, this is the situation, I'm quitting. And they're like, no, 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 don't quit. Take as much time as you want. You're just in shock. And I'm like, no, seriously, I am very clear on this. I'm not coming back. And I felt such a huge relief. And then there were also other things on the health side, dots that were connected almost immediately. And one of them was artificial sweeteners that it was at that time just coming to light with alternative healthcare practitioners. And so they started looking at artificial sweeteners, just the, the potential of that was enough for me to say, absolutely not, I am not doing this anymore. So I went cold turkey. Well, now we know, in fact, just this last week, the World Health Organization is releasing mandate or whatever they do, classifying artificial sweeteners as a carcinogen. So it's like, about time. But I'm sure there's still a lot of people using artificial sweeteners, drinking diet sodas, drinking soda at all. Stop that. That's probably the first thing you should stop. Things like that, that you can connect the dots that are so easy to stop doing. You know, stop saying yes to things you want to say no to. Stop eating and drinking things that are contributing to preventing you from, from getting over your diagnosis, are feeding your cancer, whatever type of cancer you have. Um, different cancers are fed by different things. But those are just a couple examples that even though I was doing all these other things correct, there were some things that now looking back or even immediately looking back on those two that were things that contributed that before the diagnosis I would have been completely unaware of.